all my makeup lovers and thank you for coming back. Today is one of my favoriteest days in a long time because today I am doing a collab with my bestie Anya Stamper, otherwise known as Bing Sweets here on YouTube. I think y'all know who she is and if you don't know who she is, I'm going to have her channel um, below so you can link to that and go see what her beautiful look is going to look like because I know whatever she does looks amazing. My hair is looking flat today. I've curled it now three times and it just wants to stay like this. So I give up. It wins. So, oh, what are we doing today? Oh, I'm so glad that you asked. So Anya, of course, came up with the idea because Anya comes up with most ideas in the world and they're usually most brilliant ones. Actually, no, they're all brilliant. Sorry, it's true. She's a brilliant woman. Um, what we're gonna do today is we're going to do one side of our face, um, foundation, eyeshadow, blush, all of that. One side's gonna be matte and the other side's gonna be dewy and glistening and highlighted and just stunningly beautiful. Love that. This side, eh, maybe not so great for me. This side, oh, luxuriously beautiful. We'll see. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna kinda, cause otherwise my video will literally be 45 minutes long, seriously. And y'all watched my videos, you know I'm not lying. So I'm gonna kinda be cutting in and out. So I'm sorry ahead of time if it seems a little off. I just know that I need to be able to, you know, cut into segments. So what I'm gonna use first is I'm gonna use my CoverGirl um, Outlast Active Foundation, and this one is in Classic Ivory. Now, you ask, how am I going to make this more luxuriously highlighted on this side? Well, on this half of my face, I'm gonna add my Peter Thomas Roth. This is the 24 karat gold Pure Luxury Lift and Firm Prism Cream. So it is a highlighter that is cream form and you can just put it literally all over your face, your body, however you wanna do it. So what I do in the summer, I do this a lot with some of my foundations. I will take my foundation and I will squeeze some of this on the back of my hand into the foundation and then my face will be kind of a glow from wheat thin kind of look to it. So let's see how that works out. That's my uh, game plan, but this side of my face is going to be the matte side. So let us get going with that. Again, I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand. I'm gonna put a little bit there. I'm gonna sit this, I'm gonna close the top because if I don't close the top, for some reason, it's going to get all over the place. And yeah, I'm gonna dip my brush. This is just a BH Cosmetics brush. I'm gonna dip this in and I'm gonna get to doing this side of my face and then I come back, we're gonna do the other side of the face. So and stay half of my face with foundation. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more foundation on the back of my hand and then I'm going to add the illuminator. Again, it's just a cream. I'll show you kinda. I think I've used this before. See that on the back. See how it's just like a little creamy form and then I just get that and hopefully I remember to bring something to stir it with here. Hold on. I'm just gonna use the back of this brush here. I'm gonna stir it in together so kind of no lumps or bumps there. All right, and then I'm gonna stick this on my face. I may as well just use the back of this pencil. All right, and now I'm going to blend that in and I'll be right back and we'll see how this, okay, I don't know if you can tell this side is a little more highlighted than that side, but to even mat this face down even more, I'm gonna take some of my hourglass powder, which I adore. There's very few things in this world that I think is worth some of the price tag they put on it. But this um, powder, 
I totally think it's worth it. I think it is a beautiful powder. Even for me, who's more dry skin, when I put this on, it doesn't dry out my skin nearly as bad as some of the products do. So, but I am going to mat. So on the drier portion of my face, I'm gonna use my Tarte because Tarte is a little more drying. I think we all can agree on that. And we're gonna put that down. Thank God I didn't put any powder underneath my eyes yet because yeah, I'm a brainiac. Why didn't you guys tell me I wasn't doing that? What good are you guys if you're not gonna tell me I'm screwing up? Come on, help me out here. Help a woman out. You think I never filmed before. That's luckily. Luckily I didn't get any powder up in here so I can get that down. But again, the Tarte is definitely more of a drying concealer. So generally when I use it, I um, add a hydrating one on top of it, which is usually my Milani. I really like this. It's usually a little more lighter, a little more highlighting. And I usually put this with the Tarte so it doesn't look so heavy under my eyes. So that's my little trick that I do. Because doggone it, I paid a lot of money for that Tarte concealer. And I'm gonna use it. But sometimes I don't want it to look so drying under my eyes. So that's what I do. I'm going to use my matte bronzer from Ulta. It's um, it's the cool one because I am cool. I'm so cool, you know. This is what it looks like, and I have used it. I make a little tiny dent in it. I do like this bronzer. Um, and then, yeah. Hi, Anya. I'm knocking things over. This is why we're besties, because we're alike. And then I'm going to be using my Rimmel Maxi Blush, and this one is in Wild Card. And this is one of the few blushes that I have that do not have a shimmer in it. So yeah, I'm gonna be using that. Start with our matte side. So we got our matte bronzer and I'm gonna use different brushes for either side. So I'm gonna use my BH brush and I'm gonna put this over on this side here. And I think this is a pretty good bronzer for me. And again, a reminder, normally I use um, hydrating spray, so this stuff isn't so matte on my skin. But the challenge was to have a matte side and an illuminating side. So this will definitely be pretty matte over here. No, let's get this up here. Let's get my hair out of the way. Let's get up in here. At least with all the powder that I put down, my bronzer is going on really well. I don't know why I'm trying to make it look gorgeous. I'm just gonna be taking it off here because I'm not going out in public with one matte side and one shimmer side because people will look at me like I'm wacky. Not that they don't anyway, but still, I don't need to give them extra ammo. All right, I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild P72 blush brush and we're gonna get into this. I don't know if y'all got these, but they're very, 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 very dusty in the pan there, so. Uh, and it's highly pigmented. I'm going to use my Rimmel, my Radiance Brick, and this is in 002 Medium, and it's got a beautiful shimmer. Love it! All right, now we gotta find a different brush. All right, we're gonna use this brush here. And we're going to put this on this side here. I can't wait to see what Anya does. Anya is so creative. I just 
I just adore that woman. All right. Sorry. I'm going to try to show you what I'm doing. And not cover up the camera. But Anya, I don't think you can find a better person than Anya. Anya, I believe deep in my heart that it won't matter when someday she has millions of subscribers. She will be who she is. She will still try to help smaller channels like me and try to help them get more subscribers and more notice and she's just she's just a doggone good person and I felt that the minute I heard her like speak online like she's the one who found me you know I cannot take any credit to any of this all right, I'm gonna use this as my blush brush on this side because I'm running out of brushes to use that are not dirty. I'm gonna use my Mary Kay. Ugh, I got this from my friend who sells Mary Kay. And as you can hopefully see, there's a beautiful shimmer to it. So we're gonna get some of that on. Like I was saying about Anya, I think Anya is just going to be kind and sweet and loving without any motivation for herself. She is truly one of those people that want to see other people succeed. She, she's just so good. And, oh wow, I don't think you guys, can you see that shine? Oh, this blush is just gorgeous. I really recommend you checking out Mary Kay because Mary Kay has some really beautiful makeup. I haven't found an eyeshadow yet that I like from Mary Kay, but a lot of the other stuff, mwah, muy magnificent. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of highlighter on now without spraying my face, mostly because I forgot to bring in my spray. So yeah, but I'm gonna use my favorite highlighting brush. I got this out of a uh, Ipsy like a million years ago when I was still doing Ipsy. And I'm going to use my Master Chrome. And this is the metallic highlighter. And I'm going to try to open it. I'm going to try really hard to open it. There we go. And this has got a gold look to it too. Undertone. So it'll go good with the uh, other gold. And get that up here. We'll get some on our lip over there before we start doing our lipstick. I'm going to get it on this side of my nose, on this side, not on the other side. So we'll have, ooh, shimmer, ooh, not. So, all right, now comes the best part in the world. <gasps> Shadow. Okay, let me go get that and we'll get started. Highlighted? Not highlighted. Highlighted. Because I, you know, I have other videos to film and I kind of, I'm going to go crazy with the eyes. Maybe people wouldn't notice as much with the face, maybe, but the eyes, probably you're going to notice one side's all matte, one side's all shimmery. Okay, so I kind of wanted to make my eyes match a little bit, like one eye literally is going to be all shimmers. I'm not going to put this eye all shimmers. This side's going to be literally all matte. I'm not going to put some matte down and a little bit of shimmer. No, it's all going to be shimmery. So I, using multiple palettes to come up with different shades that I'm match. I'm going to start with this shade right here. And this is going to be my transition shade. And in the Shimmer Eye, the Pizzazz is going to be my transition shade because those two seem to go together. So let me get started. And I'll be back in just one second when I get this done. 
Now I'm gonna go into Hush Hush, which is right here. I'm gonna blend that out. And then eventually when I get onto the shimmer side, I'm gonna use Bling Bling because I think they work well together. So I'm gonna get some still on the same brush that I had previously. And we're gonna just blend that into this. So we have a little bit of something something up to the brow bone. Cause you know me, I gotta have stuff to the brow bone or I'm not a happy camper. So I'll blend that. And I'm gonna go back into what I originally used cause I feel like I'm losing a little bit of color there. And heaven knows I don't wanna lose any of that. You know what? I don't mind Morphe brushes at all, but when you wash these, they shed so horribly. While I have not been on camera, I've literally had to peel off so much of the brush that has shed it onto my eyelid. It's a little crazy. I mean, they're decent brushes, but still. You know, I have to wash my brush once in a while. Come on, Morphe. Give me a brush that will hold up to a washing. Believe me, I don't like to wash my brush any more than they want me to. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. And now I'm just dipping into the lighter shade. And I'm blend up here. Trying to decide if I want a, a dark eyelid or if I want a lighter one. And I think I'm gonna go for dark today. All right, we got that going on. Now, <laughs> I think I am going to go into, I'm just looking at all my choices here for my shimmer shades. I think I'm gonna go into Pizzazz, which is the shade right I can't do that. Look at me. See, I am so used to putting um, shimmer shades on my eyelid. I almost did it. I'm going to go into Mystic. Mystic, I tell you. We're going to put that on my eyelid. And I'm going to use the brush that I just used to mix my foundation with. We're going to clean that off. And we're going to put that on my eyelid. I'm telling you. My brain is so programmed to put down shimmer shades that when it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't know what to do. It's like, oh, what do you mean I can't put a shimmer shade down? Shimmer shades belong on the eyelid. Yes, I know. I agree. But Anya is torturing me and not letting me do that today. All right, let's put that down. Actually, Anya gave me multiple choices of ideas she picked from and I'm the one who picked this one from her uh, choices that she gave me so really it's my bad that we did this it just sounded like such an interesting idea you know half your face matte and half your face not matte you know all right I'm gonna use my finger I swear, fingers are still the best way to go. I don't care if you're using shimmer shades or matte shades. Really dark. All right, now we're gonna go back in to the original shade and we're going to deepen up the crease line. We're gonna blend that all out together. Focusing mostly in the outer corner. But getting a little bit into the inner corner. Mm, you know me. Gotta have a dramatic eye no matter what I do. Gots to have me some drama. Gotta have some drama. Speaking of drama... See how I did that? I worked that in like that. I think I'm going to do a video about the drama going on. And I might put that out before you see this, or I might put it out on the same day. I'm not sure. But I do think I'm going to kind of do like a 
get ready with me using some different products and kind of talk about what's been going on. I know it's been talked to death, but I think because I'm older, sometimes I have a different perspective than some of the other folks talking about it because they're a little younger than I am. So I'm not saying with age comes wisdom, but it does come with a little something, something, you know. You don't get older just to uh, have nothing going on. And there's that eye done. So now we're going to do the other eye, but we're going to do it with shimmer shades. So I'm going to use this shimmer shade right next to the one that I used. And we're going to use the same brush because now I'm using shimmer. And I'm going to get a little bit off. And now this is going to be different, guys, because... I know most people do not use shimmer shades as, you know, their crease line or their transition or anything like that. But you know what? This is a different idea. This is a different look. It might match. It might completely not look alike at all. But most of all, this is just for fun, you know? With everything that's been going on, I think everything's been taking a little too serious of a turn. And sometimes I think we all need to remember, yes, makeup is a billion dollar business. And the bigger YouTubers make a lot of money, a lot of money. But I think all of us need to remember why we went into makeup or we enjoy makeup is, you know, the fun of it and not the drama of it, you know? How about we leave the drama in the makeup, not in the people? As I say, I'm going to do a video talking about the drama. Do as I do, not as I say. All right, I'm going to go into bling bling because I think that really is close to hush hush in color. And we're going to put that on here and blend that in. And there is some fallout on my face, but you know what? It's all shimmery, so that's okay. And we'll blend that out. And that's looking pretty good. Not exact match to the other side, but I didn't expect to be able to do that. Okay, now, the fun part is trying to find a deep enough shade to match Mystic. Hmm. I think that's too purpley, but this does kind of have a purple look to it. So let me try. This could be horrible. Um, I'm going to try a little bit of this shade right here and see how that looks. This is going to get some on my finger. Yeah, it's dark, so I think that'll work. I'll blend that with my finger. And try to get those again into my eyelash corner so it's covering the whole eye I do think mattes and shimmers have their place and sometimes I don't think any look needs to be all matte or all shimmer. 
I do think the combination of the look kind of makes it interesting. And I think this is proof of that. I mean, I could probably do an all shimmer look all day long. Face, makeup, all of it. But I do think it's always a good idea to do a combination of both. All right, get my pencil out here. I think this is a look that tried to match it. It's just hard to match something that's matte and that's shimmer. All right, I am going to go put some black eyeliner on my upper eyelids, but this is the look. And um, I'll be... I don't know how bad you can tell, but this is my matte side. Yeah, you can tell my highlighted side. I think you can see the brightness in there. Um. At the end, I just did this. I used my NYX uh, Soft Matte Cream, and this is in Istanbul. And then on this part of my lips, I used the Goddess Gloss um, from Almay. And I just put some gloss over the top of this matte, because I was like, well, how am I going to put... And then I thought, well, I'll just put a matte down and put a gloss on top, and there you go. You'll have that. So, there you go. Honestly... This was hard because I don't know about Anya and how Anya did and I'm going to find out and I'm sure she rocked it and did really well, but I'm such a creature of habit and what I do to this side, I do to this side and even at the end, I just went and sprayed my face and added a little bit more highlight to this side and I wanted to go ch -ch 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 and spray my whole face, but I can't do that because my hydrating spray is hydrating you know it's not a matte spray i don't have any of those because i'm always trying to bring out the glow and not suck it in because i don't have oily skin so if i don't do that then it doesn't look right on my skin and it'll make my skin look even more textured than it already is so yeah this is it i think my phone camera is making me but see how kind of kind of see how and then you get to that side and how illuminated it is so it definitely makes a difference especially with my face because my face needs all the it needs and when you suck it all out ooh, baby you can tell so but it was fun. This was actually more of a challenge for me than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think this was going to be a challenge. I thought, ah, I'll do this real quick. It'll take me like 30 minutes. I'll be done. Boop, boop, boop. Easy. Blah, 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 blah. But first you had to find the right products to use. You know, you had to find bat products when I usually have more hydrating products. And then I had to think, oh, what foundation am I going to use? And, oh, what can I do to make it more um, luminous? And it's it, it was a challenge. And then, you know, powder this side, don't powder that side, powder here, do that. This is kind of hard. I challenge anybody to do this. Try to do one side of your face matte and the other side luminous and see how it works out for you. So hopefully this was good. Hopefully I entertained you in some way, shape, or form. I know I'm going to probably cut this down even more concise because, again, if not, this is going to be like two hours long and nobody's going to watch that. So, okay. Thank you, Anya, for doing a collab with me. Um, you know I love you. And you know you mean everything to me. And I'll never be able to express what you mean to me. So, without getting all sappy. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are from Anya's channel and you have not already subscribed to my channel, would love to have you here. Would love it. Um, just hit the subscribe button below. Hit the like button if you liked it. If you want to leave me a comment, that would be great. I'm trying to do better at answering people back. I'm just bad at it. I don't have an excuse. I'm not going to be like, well, I'm so busy and blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'm looking out the window right behind you guys and looking at the birds flying by. Um, I'm just 
forgetful and that's it so all right guys have a good day and i will see you guys again real soon Mwah.